What's going on, Washington Commanders Nation? It's your boy, Rio Robinson, back with the latest and greatest on the Rambling with Rio YouTube channel, where we ramble about the Washington Commanders. We finally hit 10K subscribers on the channel, so I appreciate every one of you for watching my content, liking, comment, subscribing, and joining the community and pouring your fandom out in the comments, in the live chats, all of that good stuff. This channel doesn't go without you guys. I appreciate every one of you. It's Sunday afternoon. We're a week before the Super Bowl and Washington's next big decision in filling out its staff under Dan Quinn is hiring an, offer hiring an offensive coordinator, someone offensive minded and savvy enough to outsmart and out game plan opponents. So far, we know Washington might have been interested in Clint Kubiak. He took the Saints job. Washington apparently already interviewed Cliff Kingsbury after he decommitted from the Las Vegas Raiders job. The next name on the list is a bit alarming to me, but I'm not going to panic over it because I think there's reason that we're doing it. And that's interviewing Brian Johnson, former offensive coordinator for the Philadelphia Eagles. Upon seeing this tweet by Jordan Schultz that said, Washington is interviewing Brian Johnson. My first thought was absolutely fucking not. Hell no. Because if you follow the Eagles this season, if you follow a lot of Eagles fans, if you know a lot of Eagles fans, if you watch Eagles content and media speak about Brian Johnson, it is a carbon copy of what we think about Eric B. Enemy. Brian Johnson is 36 year old Eric Bienemy. Same guy, same repetitive concepts, not able to resonate with players. Look how the Eagles players are talking about him on his way out. I seen AJ Brown on a podcast talking about somebody in the room got to be a bad guy. Somebody in the room got to be the guy that gets everybody right. And it was not him. Devontae Smith was talking about the hiring of Kellen Moore on Kay Adams' podcast, and she was like, what advice do you have for Kellen Moore coming into Philadelphia? And he was like, just let us be us. Let us do our thing. It's clear the players, the media, the fans, everybody felt as if Brian Johnson held that offense back in 2023. When you look at it from a broad point of view, the Eagles' offense, it ranked seventh in points, eighth in yards, 16th in passing yards. But all those numbers are significantly down from the 2022 season. They only scored 25 points or more twice over their final six games. They played in two thriller shootouts with Washington, a team that struggled to score 17 points over its last eight weeks. We scored over 30 twice on them, but that's the defensive coordinator's job, Sean Desai. But the problem with Brian Johnson, he was handed the keys to Zarati sports car, and by end of season, the engine was running like a fucking jalopy. Offense had no identity. In fact, they did. Their whole identity revolves around a glorified quarterback sneak in which the quarterback is catapulted a yard forward. This is a guy in Brian Johnson who's known Jalen Hurts since Hurts was four years old. He's known the Hurts family his entire life and was not able to connect with the quarterback enough to evolve, to transcend his game coming off an MVP caliber season. Jalen Hurts looked like Sam Howell a lot of the season this year. It didn't look right. Their offense just looked disconnected the entire season. If we go the route of former Eagles coach, it better be Chip Kelly, USC, UCLA head coach. It better be Chip Kelly. It better not be Brian Johnson. But you got to understand, don't mean to be that guy, but Brian Johnson is the Dan Rooney rule candidate for Washington's offensive coordinator position because, you know, for each and major coaching hire, under the Rooney rule, one underrepresented minority must be interviewed before you hire a coach. I present to you the Washington offensive coordinator, Rooney rule candidate, Brian Johnson. That's all it is. Somehow 
he managed to swing two head coaching interviews this offseason, one with Atlanta and one with Tennessee. I'm not sure what they were thinking at the time. And he's interviewed for four other offensive coordinator jobs this offseason. That boy's been getting interviewed since the day he left and ain't got work yet. So right now, Brian Johnson is on the Eric B. Enemy track of failed interview roulette. Give me all the interviews. Give me all the Rooney Rule interviews. I mean, I'd take him if I was him too. But just like EB may have to do, considering he doesn't have much work out there for him, he might have to go back to being a quarterback coach for a little bit and build his reputation back up. It's time to redemption arc, Brian Johnson. Cliff Kingsbury and Chip Kelly did it. You got to go back and work your way back up to being considered an offensive coordinator candidate or a head coaching option for a team because Philadelphia was an abstract disaster. They scored nine points in a playoff game versus a team they were supposed to dominate in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I look at their, I look at their remaining games to finish the season last year. They were not putting points up. They lost a game to the Giants. They went through two shootouts with the Commanders. It was just all bad. It was all bad. They were struggling to score 20 points. The wild card round, 32-9 to Tampa Bay. They lost a 27-10 game to the New York Giants, who do not score 27 points in a game. They lost to the third worst team in the league in the Arizona Cardinals. They lost to, like, come on, man. Like, they were, they were wilding. They couldn't score 20 on the Seahawks. Washington scored over 20 on the Seahawks. They scored 13 on the Cowboys. They scored 19 on the 49ers. It was never going to work out for them. And their season was on a sky high when they beat the Kansas City Chiefs 21-17. And Nick Sirianni's crazy ass walked into the locker room like a madman. And they went to absolute hell after that. You were handed a Maserati. And by season's end, that shit was running like an old Crown Vic. That is not a good look for you, Brian Johnson. You don't go from a team with a top five roster in football who starts 10 and one to getting dogged by Baker Mayfield in the 2024 playoffs. Brian Johnson is not the answer for the Washington commanders. Also, EB ain't even getting interviewed for this OC job. I know people thought if we went defensive head coach that EB would get strong consideration. Nope. Best of your best best of luck in your endeavors elsewhere, sir. You might have to go back to being a running backs coach. Now nah, he's gonna go. He's gonna get a job back in Kansas City again. Andy Reid's gonna see his bulldog out there and say, "All right, guys, we need to have a team meeting. We need to get our pup back in here. We got to get our guy, our our hype man, back in there. We got we got to get him back. They're gonna make up some offensive position for the boy. They're gonna make offensive." quality control and morale assistant analyst Eric Bieniemy of the Kansas City Chief. We need to get him a Kansas City Surface Pro in his hands pronto. But I think it's going to be Cliff Kingsbury or Chip Kelly. And I'm down with both. And I think Cliff Kingsbury has the lead. I would like Washington to get this done soon. Shit, have it done before Dan Quinn's press conference tomorrow so he can talk about what went into the hiring of Cliff Kingsbury. But Let's get this offensive coordinator job wrapped up. Let's get Joe Witt Jr.'s name on ink for the defensive coordinator job. Fill out the staff, hopefully a staff that includes a lot of young minds on it so we can be innovative, so we can be forward thinking and move out of the stone ages of football. And let's dive into roster construction with the new league year coming up in about a month and some change. The combine coming up in a few weeks. It is now. Real off-season mode now that the people are in place on the coaching staff. Let's go get some players. Let's get be let's get better. Let's get better on both sides of the ball. Let's get our grocery list ready to go shopping. But we don't need to try to fill every hole this off-season. But we do have money to blow. And I expect to see some type of activity once this new league year takes place. But to end the topic of the conversation for the video, Brian Johnson is not getting real consideration for the offensive coordinator job for Washington, in my opinion. And he shouldn't, because Philadelphia's offense was a fucking disaster. Jalen Hurts, a man that knows him his whole life, he doubted him and said he didn't 
see the offense materialize under Brian Johnson. A.J. Brown didn't like the guy. Devontae Smith didn't like the guy. You were handed an offense with weapons galore, an upgraded running back in DeAndre Swift, and one of the best offensive lines in the league, and you progressively got worse and worse throughout the season. Not interested, no bueno, nothing to see here. That's all I got for right now. Hail to the Washington Commanders, and thank you all again for 10,000 subscribers. Now let's hit 15, 20, 25, and beyond. Hail to the commanders. Deuces.